Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show on this Tuesday morning. Now, during a very heavy news week, it's vital that we focus on those feel good stories, especially when they're coming out of areas that are normally associated with gang activity. We're about to head to Lavender Hills to meet a group of young guys who are making an incredible difference using nothing more than just this, a simple tool, the bicycle. Youth in disadvantaged communities often find hope and motivation in sport. In Lavender Hill, Cape Town, young cyclists are on the road to self-improvement despite life-threatening challenges. Gangsterism, people that rob, rob the cyclists, throwing stones at them, cars that don't obey the, the, the rules of the road. So it's actually a very dangerous sport as well. We all have to face it in a point in life, but at the moment, I'm only keeping busy with the cycling, trying to stay out of trouble, and that's how I overcome the problems in our community. Five young men from Lavender Hill Secondary School are defying the odds of their community. This year, they completed the Cape Town Cycle Tour for the first time and are inspiring their peers. I feel excited when I'm on the road, and I feel good when I'm cycling with my team. It's almost like I'm clearing my mind. I don't think about problems or such stuff that can keep me behind from cycling. You get to see new things, you get to meet new people, any problems that you might have, any obstacles in your life. When you're on the road, um, you don't think about it, it's like it goes away. All of the boys in the team have had their fair share of hardship. Faez, in particular, uses cycling as a form of therapy, which has helped him deal with the trauma of his father's attempted suicide. Uh, the story happened two years ago. I was awoken by my sister and my grandmother when they told me that my father is attempting to hang himself up. Uh, I immediately reacted by getting out of my bed, getting dressed and going down. And I came there, he was just about to kick the chair to hang himself, but then luckily I was fast enough to stop him from doing what he did. The incident left Fires feeling like he needed an escape. Instead of turning to drugs or alcohol, he got on a bicycle. And soon, being out on the road became his happy place. Well, the road for me is a place that I want to be. I don't want to leave it because that's the place where I'm the most happy. In our community, cycling is not a big sport. So then when the little ones saw that, so when they saw our bikes, our gear, our helmets, they started asking me how they could get into the sport as well. So I would like to do my best to help them to achieve what I achieved today and hopefully they can go further. If you're facing obstacles, don't fall with your face to the ground, fall with your back to the ground. You can always look to the sky because the sky is the limit. Don't let your circumstances determine whether your future is bright or dark. Always look to the sky and see there is a brighter future for yourself. Cycling has become more than just a means of staying out of trouble. For his team, it's a tool of strength and a vehicle for change in a community where hope is desperately needed.